Hey guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my little kitchen. Now today I've got a fantastic recipe for you guys for Dawa chicken my style. Now Dawa chicken is basically cooked on a flat plate which is used to make chapatis on, uh, naan breads and barate but you can actually make curries on there and it's sort of like traditionally um, sort of like served at these um, sort of like uh, dabas in Pakistan and India on the side streets. Um, it's so easy to make, it's ready in under 30 minutes. So let's run through what you need to make my style of dawa chicken. So the ingredients you're going to need are half a kg, which is 500 grams of chicken breast fillet. Now I've had it cubed into small pieces because this ensures that it will cook quickly and evenly. You also need two large tomatoes, which are diced um, finely. I've got one tablespoon of oil and you need two tablespoons of yogurt and we've got a good handful of freshly cooked coriander. Now this equates to roughly three to four tablespoons and I have the following spices. I've got one teaspoon of salt. I've got digi mitch here which is um, the Kashmiri chili powder which gives a really nice sort of like colour and flavour but not the heat. I've got garam masala. I've got coarsely ground coriander seeds and cumin seeds and I've also got here half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. I've got four green chilies which I've um, finely sliced. Now these are optional, you can add as many or as little as you wish. The reason why I'm adding more green chilies is because um, I'm actually spicing it up this way and not added any of the, uh, the red chili powder. I've also got here a heaped tablespoon of freshly pounded uh, garlic and ginger. If you don't have this, then you can just use paste or puree, that's perfectly fine. And you also need four tablespoons of unsalted butter. This roughly equates to around 60 grams. And we also need a tawa. Now, if you don't have a tawa, you can use any large pan. You don't have to use a tawa, but I'm actually cooking it on a tawa today. And you also need a lid to go on top. I'm just using an old lid that I had that came with my um, old microwave with the steamer. But as long as it's like quite deep, uh, you're perfectly fine. You can use glass or um, steel like I'm doing. So let's start cooking. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our tawa nice and hot and then I'm going to go in with a, around a tablespoon of oil, just like that. And my heat setting is on a five at the moment, which is a medium heat setting and straight in with the fresh ginger and garlic. And we're going to cook this for about one to two minutes, just so it gets rid of the rawness and I'll see you back once it's done. Right, okay, so the ginger and garlic has been cooking away for about two minutes and into that I'm gonna add half of the tomatoes, like that, and a little bit of the chilies, maybe half as well. And we're gonna cook this for about three to four minutes until the the tomatoes soften up really nicely and we're not adding any water into this so all you need to do is just sort of like allow them to cook down and I'll show you how they look once they're done. Right okay 45 minutes later and this is how the tomatoes are looking so I've just helped them to sort of like break down a little by sort of like pushing down onto the tomatoes like that and to this now we can add all our dry ingredients. So that goes in. And we're just gonna fry this now for about a minute. Right, okay, so after a minute, we're gonna pop our chicken straight over like that. And just mix that in. Just like that. It smells so good. Oh my God, the aroma coming off all of those spices. The fresh ginger and garlic that we've added. Oh. So I'm just going to turn my heat settings up to a high now, which is a nine for me. So I'm just going to give it a minute. So we can sort of like mix all of those spices, that spicy masala onto every single piece of chicken. All 
right okay guys the masala has really nicely coated all of those chicken pieces and now we're going to go straight in with our yogurt I've had to turn my heat settings down because it was a bit too high so it's on a two at the moment but I'm going to put it up to a six which is a medium and just to make sure you mix that yogurt really well into the chicken just bring everything from the sides into the middle like so and then I'm going to top this with the remaining fresh tomatoes and the green chilies and I'm going also going to add some fresh coriander right on top like that And then we're going to take our lid and we're just going to place that right over so allow that to cook away now for 15 minutes on a medium heat setting mine is going to be a heat setting of five for my hob and um, you don't need to do anything to this just allow it to cook away and i'll show you how it looks in about 15 minutes time guys right okay guys this has been cooking away for 15 minutes and i'm just going to show you how it looks now whoa look at that oh my god so it did release quite a lot of um, sort of like water uh, because we added the yogurt into this, but it's cooked down really nicely. And all we're going to do now is we're just going to mix everything together like that. Oh, smells so, so good. Oh, make sure you scrape off the, um, the bits at the bottom because that's where the flavor is. Look at that. See that little bit there? Because obviously my hob is a ceramic hob, um, it obviously heats straight in the middle there. And, um, you know, it sort of caught the bottom there. But you know what? That is where the best part is. All the flavour is in there. Just scrape it off. And all the tomatoes have like just completely melted in there now. We've got some charred bits of chicken in there. Again, I'm happy with that. And all we're going to do just to finish this off now is we're going to take our tamarind and we're just going to add that in and just mix it really well so it's well combined. Just going to turn my heat settings up. I did actually lower my settings down to a two, but I've just put them up to a four now, which is again a medium for me. And the tamarind's going to give it a really nice sort of like tanginess to it. Even though we've added the yogurt, it's going to give a really nice tangy sort of like flavour to the dish make sure that's well mixed if I could just tell you how good this the, the aroma coming off it is it just oh it just feels like as if I'm stood at like um, a cart in in Pakistan like a daba um, you know that serves this kind of food that, oh it smells so so good right okay that looks absolutely divine I just want to dive right in <laughs> and just to finish off what we're going to do is we're going to take our butter and we're just going to sort of like plonk it just there and just let that melt and you want to take this dish as it is in the tawa straight to the um, the dining table to serve up and we're just going to allow that to melt. I'm not even going to do anything to that and I'm just going to sprinkle over some of the uh, fresh coriander that I reserved from earlier. And there you have it guys. My tava chicken is absolutely ready. Let me tuck into this now and tell you guys exactly how it is. Right guys, my tava chicken is ready but just look at that. Oh gosh, doesn't that look wonderful? <gasps> right, time to tuck into this now and tell you guys exactly how it is. Ooh. Oh my God, it just, oh, that is amazing looking or what? Oh, look at that, beautiful. 
and I'm just serving mine up with some naan bread here. So here goes, moment of truth, guys. Let's have a look. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Just look at that. Wonderful. That is so, so, so good. Oh my God, guys. Mmm. Wow. Oh my God. That is, that chicken is just super soft. So moist. Absolutely fantastic. And there's a little bit of that masala as well with the tomatoes and the yogurt and the tamarind that we added. Oh my God, the tamarind, it gives a really nice sort of like sour kick to this and it's perfectly spiced. Adding four green chilies in um, is perfect for me. But like I said, guys, if you want it slightly less hot, then just reduce the amount of chilies. But here goes second mouthful. Oh my God. Oh, just to show you guys. That's how soft the chicken is. It just literally breaks. There you go. <laughs> oh my God, God. That is seriously one delicious dish ready in under 30 minutes. Do try the recipe out. I am sure you're going to love this because what's not to love about something cooked like that, which is ready in practically minutes. Guys, if you like the um, video, don't forget to um, give it a big thumbs up as always and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already turn your bell notifications on and i'll catch you next week with a new one till then take care and enjoy this recipe happy cooking bye <laughs>